Hey, good morning, guys. I am out on site. I love being on site. It's so much fun. And this little crane right here, I'm at Superior Crane and Rigging. Let's see if I can get you a sign somewhere. Maybe right there on that uh, that that tank. Uh, but I had to I had to do a Facebook Live, not just because of that crane right there, but because of that crane right there, which is amazingly high. It's really hard to tell uh, here on Facebook Live. But Callie, I, I don't even know how many. Maybe. 20, 30 stories tall right now. And uh, I want to do a Facebook Live here because I realize that a lot of you as small business owners, we look to liberate you from the chaos of working in your business. I realize that a lot of you feel like you're being pulled in 17 different directions. Had somebody tell me that. That's where I came up with that title. And also, you feel like um, everything is spinning and you're constantly putting out fires. And a lot of times, in fact, I had a Voxer from somebody this morning talking about feeling that way. And a lot of times the reality of us feeling that way is because we've not taken the time to go build machines like this. Uh, let me see if I can get this right there. To build machines like this. Do you realize that one human being sits at the, at the base of that thing and it, it gets the rest of that boom up and they can leverage thousands of pounds from one human being sitting in a cockpit of this machine and being able to leverage and swing that thing back and forth. Same with that truck that's passing me right now with all the gas in the back, same with this little crane here. But the bottom line is that every one of these machines in this yard at Superior is uh, is a delegatable machine. It's a delegatable tool because somebody, uh, a manufacturer, took the time to build the machine so that human beings could delegate the hard task of lift, lifting heavy things, uh, lifting awkward things, and putting those into places. And so right now, these guys actually have machines. Uh, that crane, that's another crane, but there's another crane that they've got actually at the Phillips Arena in Atlanta right now. And so they're taking and leveraging, in fact, some of you may have seen a Facebook Live I did a month or so ago from Phillips Arena, where they were bringing this uh, brand new crane in. And so this crane, this crane, all of these cranes here are built so that we can leverage and delegate the task of hard lifting uh, to a machine. So the question I've got for you in your small business, while you may not be dealing with heavy machinery like this, some of you are, uh, but the reality is what is it in your business that you need to delegate? Of course, you guys know that we've got the delegation roadmap that we've put in place that's out there. Uh, feel free to just send me a message through Facebook if you don't have that tool. We would love to be able to offer that tool for you uh, to sit down. But I will tell you, before we do that, and, and what we tell people and whenever we offer free tools is our only catch is if you're willing to put in the hard work. If you're not willing to put in the hard work, because it takes hard work. It took a lot of time to engineer this thing, to build this thing, to manufacture those cranes. And so if you're not willing to put in the hard work of building the delegation layout, then don't expect delegation to happen. Don't expect um, to stop feeling pulled in 17 different directions, to stop feeling like you're constantly putting out fires. If you want to live in that chaos, then don't do the hard work of delegation. But if you want to stop living in that chaos, then take the time, manufacture, engineer a system, a process, a machine, a piece of technology that's going to be able to allow you to have that freedom uh, of the delegation, what that freedom brings. The other thing I want to tell you on the backside of delegation is can you imagine trying to lift heavy things without a machine like this? Well, it's going to take you a whole lot longer than if you've got a simple machine like this. Well, the question you've got to then ask yourself is what am I going to do with the free time? Now, you as a business owner might be going, my goodness, it, please bring me free time. But we see this all the time. When small business owners free their time up, they usually begin to backfill it with more task, more things that are going to help them or uh, put them in a position where they feel like they're being pulled in 17 different directions. So you need to decide now if you're going to build delegation into your business, you need to go ahead and decide right now what you're going to do with that free time, that marginal time. It may be more investment into your business. It may be more invest investment into your home, into personal rest, whatever that looks like. But you need to decide that right now because if you don't, you're going to backfill it with more task, more duties, more living out life of a technician in your business instead of a life as an owner. So, all right, guys, I thought this would be fun. Show you guys some heavy equipment cranes this morning. Hope you guys have a great Wednesday, and I hope that you're liberated from the chaos of working in your business. We'll talk to you soon.